a lot of the times we let our fear overcome our walk with God. We let our fear put us on that detour of pursuing Christ. And I remember when I first became a believer, when I first accepted Jesus Christ into my life, I had one foot in and I had one foot out. And the reason why I had that one foot in is because I feared the unknown. In today's video, I'm going to be titled into today is uh, don't let your fear overcome your faith. And it's basically saying, don't let my walk with God and my fears that I have uh, detour me away from pursuing Christ. Because it's going to be some times where you literally are just relying on your faith. But are you going are you going to let that fear that you have? And is this going to work out? Is God going to have me under his wing? Is God going to take care of me? Are you going to let your fear overcome the fact that you have that you have faith in Jesus Christ and the promises that he that he puts out there for all of us as believers? And when I first came to the to the walk, I remember, man, I, I, I had these strong convictions of how I was dressing. I had these strong convictions of the music that I listened to. I had strong convictions over everything in my life and it felt uncomfortable. It felt like God was God was working on my heart a little bit too much. And what I did was I turned back around. In certain instances of my life, I remember I started listening to the music and I was like, man, maybe I will go back to what I knew because it's just more comfortable. It just felt easier for me to 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 revert back to the, the old being that I was, the old person that I was. And this is when I was probably lukewarm. But, and I wouldn't even really say lukewarm. It was just when I first came to the faith. I didn't have that much faith. Man, my tank was on E. There was not much faith that I had within me. It's because it's like, man, I'm, I, my comfort zone is the world. My comfort zone is easy to listen to the music that I listen to. It's easy to be in a group chats that I listen to that are talking about lustful things of the heart, lustful things of the world. It's easier to be in a group chat and just talk about this with the homeboys. But then when you when you choose the when you choose the, the side of the light, because let's be real, it's, it's one or the other. It's light or darkness. You cannot be in between when you choose the light. And you truly say, look, I know that this might not be my comfort zone. I know this might not be what God uh, what, what God drew it up to be at that moment in time. But just know that he's working. Know that he's working in that moment that you're in. When, when, when God convicts you of something and you and you feel like, man, I, I wouldn't even say it's so much guilt. But when you feel that overwhelming uh, feeling of like, man, I shouldn't be doing this. It don't come from nobody else but God. When you feel like you need to revert back to who you were, that's definitely not God. God is never going to give you any, any feeling that will go against what he wants for you, against his will. He's not going to give you a feeling or a temptation that will be something of, of the darkness. So I remember, man, it's, it's, and the reason why I made this video be, is because a new believer might come across this video and feel like, well, am I really a believer or do I really believe? Do I really have faith? But it's normal. And I'm pretty sure anybody else can, can, can has that same testimony of like that comfort zone or that 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 middle zone that they had when they first came to the to the faith. And I mean, some believers to this day might still have this uh this same feeling. Sorry about these crazy dogs that I have in my neighborhood, but uh, some believers might have this this same feeling to this day. The enemy don't want us to get this out, man. Goodness gracious! But no, uh, I remember. When I, when I made up my mind, when there was that day when I made up my mind and I felt like, look, nothing that the enemy can do can separate me from my, my, my faith in Jesus Christ. Nothing. Yes, I might stumble, I might fall, but look, nothing that, I, that, that you can do or anybody in this world can do can separate me from God because I've already made my mind up. He chose me by his grace, and that's, what it, that's, what, that's the way that it works. Yes, you're going to feel uncomfortable. Yes, you're going to feel like, man, I should just go back. But that's why I titled this message to not be fearful because he did not give you the, 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 any spirit. He did not give you anything in your life to be fearful of following him. <clears throat> Let me read this Bible verse for you. In Matthew 11, verse 28 through 30, it says, come to me, all who labor and are heavily burdened. And, and I know right now, somebody, man, that might be burdened and you might be burdened with sin. You might be burdened with lust. You might be burdened with drinking, with drugs. He's saying, man, come to me, all who are who are who are heavily burdened and I will give you rest. 
Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is a light. And I, I listened to a sermon that was talking about yoke, and, and the yoke was like something that they hook to both animals, and it's something that's heavy to carry, right? That weight that you that that you connect these two animals to is hard to carry. And it was saying that the yoke that God gives you is something that's light. So it's like, look, when I choose God, it's gonna be some burdens. It's gonna, I mean, it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be a, a tough challenge. But look, it's lighter than what the world offers me. It's lighter than the sin that the world offers me to live in. He's telling you if you heavily burdened, look, you can lay it all down to Him. You can lay your life down to Him. You gotta surrender. Today, if you're on the fence and you feel like, man, I Sometimes I want to pursue Christ, but my fear is overcoming my walk with Christ. My fear is overcoming my faith. My fear is overcoming me wanting to lead these drugs or this alcohol or these women or these men. My fear is why I'm not taking that next step. So today, if you if you feel as though you had that fear, I want to know. I want you to know that it's not from God. That the Lord would not instill this fear in you to be having you fearful of things that you should never be fearful of. And one of the things that I want to encourage you to do is just read the word for yourself. A lot of the times, man, when I when I feel like I'm getting. When I'm getting getting that lack of encouragement or that lack of. Uh, strength within my life, this is what I revert back to. I don't know any other way. I, I really don't know any other way. To. To stir up that fire within my heart. We all get discouraged. We all feel like, man, I'm I'm fearful. It's it's a natural uh instinct and, and and I wouldn't say it's from God, but it's a natural human instinct that the enemy tries to tries to corrupt you with. So when you're feeling down, when you're feeling weary, he says, Come to me. Come to me. When God is calling, he's telling you to come to me. Don't ignore the conviction that the Lord gives you. He'll give you strength in those times that you're going through. There's nothing in this world that he, that he won't uh, work out. It might not always look the way we wanted to or sound the way we wanted to or be the picture that we painted. But just remember who's the author of this story. Just remember that. I hope that this message encourages you. If you do have somebody who needs to hear this message, share this message with them, please. Know that the Lord is working on them daily. Know that they can trust him, please. I'm a living, walking testimony of how the Lord can change you within a year. There's times where I look back, man, at my old text messages with my wife and myself. There's times where I listen to old recordings when I was in the military. And it cringes my spirit to listen to how I used to talk, to how I used to text. It cringes, man. It's like I was an old. It's like it was the old me. It's literally the old me, but I don't I didn't notice it until I start looking back at these videos and these pictures. And I and I seen man, like, look at who this guy was. I was living in darkness. I was living in sin. And I feel like, man, I was good. I'm a good dude. I respect people. But at the end of the day, it's like I was still missing a piece within me. And it's going to be some times where it's difficult. It's going to be some times you feel like, man, I'm at a stagnant point in my walk and it's OK. It's okay. Ultimately, that's not what God is looking for. God is looking for, do you love him? Are you keeping his commandments? Do you love others? Do you show others grace? Is he number one in your life? Is there any idols in your life? Because we all idolize something. Anybody in this world walking in this earth idolizes something. A lot of men, we idolize sports. We idolize clothing. We idolize possessions. Women, they idolize material things. They idolize other men. We idolize something in our lives. So self-reflect as you watch this video, self-reflect, pray to the Lord. That there is something that he can help you with you in your life. Pray over yourself for the fear that you have. If you if you encounter some some new path in your life. But y'all have a good one. I'm going to pray for y'all before I leave and we're going to end the video. Father God, I pray for this person, Lord, that they have fear this morning. Lord, I pray that you are able to cast out the fear 
in your son's name, in Jesus' name, Lord. I pray that we cast out the fear and that they know that the fear is not welcome in their mind. The fear is not welcome in this flesh. We know that the enemy is trying to detour us away from your will for us and your guidance for us, Lord. But we pray that they would have boldness in their faith, boldness in their life, Lord, and to move according to your will, not according to the world's will. And to be a, a child of, of, of the light and not a child of dark, Lord, to, to season your, your, your flavor on the earth, Lord, to give us strength as we walk through this day, as we walk through this life, Lord, because we know that this is not the, the ultimate <clears throat> the ultimate destination. This is just a pit stop, God. But we thank you and we love you. In the mighty name of Jesus, let me pray. Amen.